What's the deal, folks? Welcome to Device Overdose. I am your host, Ty. On today's episode, we will be taking a fast look at my new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G. I will take a look at the design. I'm going to bust down some of the features. We will take the device out back and check out some of the cameras. So let's KIM and keep it moving into the video. <laughs> So over the past two years, folding phones have resurfaced and Samsung has had their share of folding phones in the past. So out of pure curiosity, I've decided to procure the latest version of their Galaxy Z Flip lineup. Now, I have been flossing and flashing with the device for a little minute and I can appreciate the extra space in my pocket. But hold up, bust the meat. Let's see what kind of cute accessories Samsung decided not to give us this time. Now here we have a nice ass device. This is the phantom black version with the matte finish. All right, so inside of the box, you have the phone, the release pen, the quick start guide, the end, and that's about it. Just bear with me a sec and let me bust this down. But hold up, bust the meat. Samsung does manage to bless you with a high speed data transfer wire. Personally, I do not use wired headphones anymore, and I sure as hell do not see Samsung dropping a free pair of earbud pros in this box anytime soon. So yeah, no more free shit inside of the box. All right, let me peel this plastic off in dramatic fashion, and then we can get into that dry ass tech talk that we love so much. The Galaxy Z Flip 3 sports a Star Trek tricorder like flip design. Also, the Z Flip 3 has a metal frame. This gives the device a very durable and premium feel. I applaud you, Samsung. God knows I love metal. So let me go ahead and bless the device with my email credentials. The Z Flip 3 comes in several different colors, and it is good to see a broad selection like this. Samsung has definitely put some noticeable emphasis on the request of their customers. All right, let's keep it moving. The cover screen is a 1.9 inch, 260 by 512 Super AMOLED display. The main screen is a 6.7 inch, 2640 by 1080p Infinity Flex display, which does come with a pre-installed screen protector. Now, I have heard stories about these Infinity Flex screens malfunctioning, and I did notice a micro patch of depixelation on my flexible screen recently. So yeah, I can't front, I am pissed that this is happening, but let me not be so fast to say my hair is on fire. I am running a beta version of Android 12, so I may be getting some errors. All right, let's keep it moving. The Infinity display also blesses you with a total of 425 PPI with a 120 hertz refresh rate. So right off the Yankee hat, the first thing you want to do is to make sure your 120 hertz refresh rate option is selected because you are able to switch between adaptive and standard refresh rates. All right, bust a meat. Open the start menu. Scroll down to display. Scroll down again and select motion smoothness. From here, you can choose between adaptive and standard. All right, let's hit the streets so we can bust down these cameras. Let's go grab the electric e-bike and ride out to my usual shoot location. Here, we will check out the rear cams right fast. Afterwards, we will keep it moving into Midtown for some front cam footage. You know, I was supposed to upload this video back in September, but one morning I woke up and 29 files were missing from my project. Then shit got a little crazy over here for a little bit, but I'm back and I'm happy to regale you with my review of the Z Flip 3 5G. So on the back of the device, you have two standard wide angle cams. Camera one is your ultra wide camera. So let's check that out. Okay, looks good to me. All right, next, cam two is your wide angle cam. Okay. Your boy coming in clutch with the money shot. But first, bust the meat. I am using a gimbal, and I'm sure that I forgot to lock the white balance. Not to mention, I'm riding an e-bike, I'm moving around and shit, and the footage appears to be pretty stable and balanced. So with the Z Flip 3, Samsung did decide to fall back on the telephoto cam. Instead, Samsung decided to bless us with some high value camera software to compensate. I guess that was thoughtful enough, just as long as the shit works. So both cameras have iOS. 
Also, both cameras are nearly identical to the ones found on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus, the Galaxy Note 25G, as well as the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. All right, next, let's check out this zoom situation. Samsung loves to zoom in on things. The Z Flip 3 blesses you with up to 10 times of zoom magnification. So, if you are into blurry ass pixelated images, this is a very useful feature. All right, let's bounce up out of here so we can see what this front cam is looking like. On the front of the device, there is a 10 megapixel cam that sits directly under the screen. And this camera does allow you to shoot in 4K. All right, look, I know my little demonstration here does not do much justice for the front cam, but I am sure you get the point. This front camera is definitely a winner. And as always with Samsung, the cameras come loaded with customization features. Two of these features stand out to me in particular, portrait video and director's view. So, portrait video is a high value feature that both the front and back camera support. This function gives you that deep blurred out background effect, but the cameras stay focused on the subject that is being recorded. For me, portrait video looks great, especially if you're into vlogs and using that front cam a lot. Also, this feature only works on faces. The software does not work on inanimate objects. All right, next, director's view is another high value function that works great if you're into reaction videos. These features work on both the front and the back cameras. Also, you can switch between the wide angle and the ultra wide angle camera. All of these features can be found on the dominant majority of Samsung's high end phones. But hold up, bust a meat. In my opinion, I think the Z Flip 3 takes really good pictures. And again, if you are heavily into vlogs using that front cam and then couple that with flex mode, the Z Flip 3 can be a powerful tool. All right, let's keep it moving. The hinge, in my opinion, is probably one of the most galvanizing features about this phone. Samsung calls this mechanism the hideaway hinge. The hideaway hinge is what makes the space saving device possible. All right, next, the infamous battery. The device has a 3300 milliamp hour dual cell. And despite all of the negative feedback the battery has received, I think these new battery options are long overdue. The battery has different settings that will help you extend the duration of each power cycle as well as the overall life of the battery. Open your settings menu and click battery and device care. Next, select battery. From here you can activate your power saving feature if necessary. And just below that you have more battery settings. From here you can activate the adaptive battery function as well as protect battery. And when the protect battery function is active, the battery will not charge beyond 85%. Also, aside from the new battery functions, you still have the basic battery features that you can tweak. So there is a lot of shit going on with this battery, but hopefully the Flip 4 will level up to a 5,000 milliamp hour power cell. All right, let's keep it moving. The device has a 5NM 64-bit octa-core processor, and that is coupled with eight gigabytes of RAM and up to 256 gigabytes of internal storage. All right, next, Samsung Samsung has some of the best fingerprint sensors in the game and this device has one of the most consistent fingerprint sensors that you could buy with your green stamps. The Z Flip 3 has a rating of IPX8. The 8 means the device can be completely submerged in water that's deeper than 1 meter for up to 30 minutes. But hold up, bust a meat. A team over at CNET dropped the phone in a 10 feet pool for 15 minutes. 10 feet of water for 15 minutes? Just to see what happens. 15 minutes, 10 feet. We still look fine. Okay, say word. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, network connectivity. There's nothing out of the ordinary going on here, so I'll leave that up on the screen. The device flosses a set of stereo speakers. These speakers won't blow you away like iPhone loud, but they work well. The Z Flip 3 is definitely a boss phone, and lately, this device has become a CES Innovation Awards winner as of 2022.
In my opinion, after spending several months using the Z Flip 3, Samsung is very close to having a perfectly balanced folding flagship device. The Z Flip 3 will cost you 1,000 green stamps. However, with a qualifying trade-in, that price can drop to as low as 650 green stamps. All right, folks, that is a wrap for my three months with the Z Flip 3 review. And if you did find any of this information useful, bless that like button, bless that subscription tab, and bless that notification bell. It's your boy Ty. Hold it down. I'll catch y'all on the rebound.